Strategy Management Series Video Number 11, Pillars of a Bad Strategy Welcome back to the Ready MBA Series on Strategy Management In our last video we covered the pillars of a good strategy based on the book Good Strategy Slash Bad Strategy by Richard Rimmelt However, to truly understand what makes a strategy effective, we must also examine examples of bad strategies. Let's dive in. Part 1. Lack of Diagnosis The first pillar of a good strategy is a clear and insightful diagnosis of the current situation. A bad strategy often lacks a deep understanding of the challenges and opportunities that an organization faces. Example 1. Blockbuster Blockbuster, once a leader in the video rental industry, failed to diagnose the shifting market dynamics and the rise of digital streaming. Instead of recognizing the changing consumer preferences, they continued with their traditional brick-and-mortar model, eventually leading to their downfall. Part 2. Weak Guiding Policy The second pillar is a guiding policy that outlines how the organization will overcome the identified challenges. A bad strategy often lacks a coherent and effective guiding policy. Example 2, Sears Sears, a once-dominant retail chain, struggled to develop a guiding policy that could compete in the modern retail landscape. They failed to adapt to the rise of e-commerce and lacked a clear differentiation strategy, resulting in declining sales and store closures. Part 3, Incoherent Actions the third pillar is the execution of coherent actions aligned with a guiding policy. A bad strategy often involves scattered and contradictory actions that fail to drive meaningful results. Example 3, Kodak. Kodak, a pioneer in the photography industry, failed to execute coherent actions to adapt to the digital revolution. Despite being one of the early innovators in digital photography, they hesitated to fully embrace the technology, leading to missed opportunities and a decline in market share. Additional examples of bad strategies Now, let's explore a few more examples of bad strategies that illustrate the lack of alignment with the core pillars we discussed. Example 4, Radio Shack Radio Shack a retailer specializing in electronics, struggled to adapt to changing consumer preferences and the rise of online shopping. Their lack of a clear guiding policy and incoherent actions resulted in a decline in relevance and eventual bankruptcy. Example 5, MySpace MySpace, once a leading social networking platform, failed to anticipate the rise of Facebook and other competitors. Their lack of a strong guiding policy and failure to develop coherent actions to enhance user experience and engagement led to a loss of users and ultimately being overshadowed by competitors. Conclusion Examining bad strategies helps us understand the importance of the core pillars of a good strategy, diagnosis, guiding policy, and coherent actions. By learning from these examples, we can avoid making similar mistakes and develop effective strategies for success. Thank you for joining us in this educational video on business strategy and the identification of bad strategies. Remember, understanding what makes a strategy ineffective is just as crucial as understanding what makes it effective. Stay tuned for more content on strategy management, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you next time.